The advancing technology of the modern age has led to numerous groundbreaking inventions in areas such as remotely accessible robots with millimetre precision being used in surgeries around the world. But another thing that has come out of technology is video games. The first video game was made by physicist William Higginbotham in the October of 1958. This game was a very simple tennis game, similar to the 1970s video game Pong. Video games have evolved exponentially since then, proven by the ability to make graphics that are, at times, just as realistic as reality. Not to mention the VR systems and so forth. Some of the biggest names when it comes to video games are debatably epic games as Fortnite and Mojang's Minecraft. Minecraft started to rise in popularity in July 2010, leading up to its open beta release in November 2011. On September 3rd, 2013, Minecraft had an estimated 27,659,254 copies of the game sold. As of September 15, 2019, Minecraft had 112 million active players every month, despite the player base dropping by a little over half in October 2018. In the September of 2014, Microsoft bought Minecraft for a grand total of $2.5 billion and for that money, Microsoft gets the rights to the game and ownership of its Stockholm, Sweden-based development studio, Mojang. Minecraft's recent screenshot of the Nether update shows a sneak peek of what it is to come to the game later this year. Currently showing off new mobs such as Piglins and Hoglins, it is also releasing the new Netherite Ore, which is stronger than diamonds, doesn't burn in lava, but instead floats to the top. Fire can't even burn this ore. It is also releasing new blocks such as basalt, soul soil, and more. There's new torches which burn blue, same for the lanterns, and if fire is applied on a certain block, it also turns blue. Along with these features, I'm sure many of you have heard of the new nether biomes, making nether forests and soul sand valleys. They're also changing two items being skeletons and bone blocks. The skeletons will now spawn in soul sand valleys and bone blocks will now also generate in soul sand valleys. Overall, this update looks packed and new with new game content and I definitely can't wait. In March 2019, Fortnite reached 250 million players. Since then, the ever so popular game has slowly decreased in popularity, currently reaching only 27% of its once glorious prime. I'm sure all of us have heard of Minecraft, the game that overtook the gaming industry for half a decade. Minecraft was overtaken by Fortnite in late February 2019, only retaking its spot as most popular game in early November 2019. So looking at the numbers, Fortnite is in fact dying, but it isn't too late to stop its declining numbers. Fortnite is currently popular for its frequent updates. Uh, something we don't usually get anymore, but hey, maybe Epic brought it out chapter 2 to give themselves a three-month break before going back into the grind. Maybe in the current season that just came out the other day, chapter 2, season 2, they'll pick up uh, pace again to what it was in their glory days. Maybe Epic Games is coming up with something huge for the next season. Do I think it's possible? Hell yeah, I do. But I also think they could be trying to come up with a couple seasons worth of content. If that is the case, an idea for them would be to ask the public what they think would be a good addition to the game. For example, what do they want on Vaulted? And, and then, like, the Heavy Sniper, for example, they have unvaulted that in the new update. Maybe even a community vote of what LTM they want back. One shot, solid gold, unvaulted. Now, I've been keeping this idea in my head for a while now, but what about a brand new LTM? Wh where they bring back the old map, and that map has the same weapons as Season 10. Like, just an LTM. Now, I know the old map exploded, but they couldn't instead of making this an LTM, just have the old map back for a week. And it could be explained by saying our character was simply dreaming, but the community wouldn't know this until the week was over. Then it could be shown as a dream in a cutscene Epic could make. Here also, I'm about to play, is an opinion from a fellow friend of mine, uh, who basically shares his opinion on Fortnite. Honestly, I, th I thought, like, they were trying to revamp it, like, revamp it, like, themselves. 
Cause I I generally like this season and like the battle pass that kind of stuff. So I also kind of wanted it to be like the classic season two, like the old old one, but not they didn't really do that much changes. I get like kind of with like tilted and stuff, how they added tilted. And like that was that was basically it. And then they had the event. I liked it how they didn't really change that much through that time. Yeah. And with this, they kind they're kind of doing the same thing. So I get ugh, voice crack. So I guess they're basically trying to revamp it themselves. Yeah. Cause like as soon as season five came out. Cause like they really didn't have to bring out a the biome.